Stranger Notes was a four-year longitudinal research project with Youth Music that worked with young people at risk of educational exclusion and the aim was to explore whether music making could re-engage them back with education. We kind of know from a youth music point of view that, you, uh, that young people love music, it's their joint top favourite thing, but they often don't associate their love of music with what happens with their music in school. So we were testing this idea if we bring together their love of music outside school with what they do in school, what would be the outcomes for young people and could their lives in music be even greater as a result. Primarily, uh, the big successes is, is around the outcomes for the young people who participated in the programme over the four years. So uh, we saw positive impact on their attendance at school and their, their educational attainment. But even more so, I think it's the, the kind of individual stories of success that we saw. So we saw young people who were at risk of exclusion staying in school over the four years that they were taking part in exchanging notes, which is a massive, massive thing. In terms of successes for exchanging notes, I think the most obvious ones are the social and personal outcomes for young people. So in the research that we've done with BCU, they talk a lot about their improved self-confidence, their resilience, uh, their team working but their own identities as young people and as young musicians and also about their attitudes towards learning and their attitudes towards school. I think for us it reinforced the importance of immersive and practical uh, music learning as being the, the only way really of, of having a big impact upon a wide range of students and their different learning needs. I think for the students it had a huge impact upon their ability to take on new challenges and have the resilience to continue through when at first they don't succeed. There's a model curriculum that is going to be devised at this particular moment and so actually the Exchanging Notes report has come out of a really key time for thinking about what a music curriculum should look like. So when we think about the impact of exchanging notes and moving forward, we hope that exchanging notes will add to that discussion, but also thinking longitudinally about where we move from exchanging notes, the role as our responsibility as researchers at BCU and how we disseminate this work and how we continue to work with the partnerships and youth music moving forward.